Makach on defense. A veteran. 244 international games. Posh Bashil is playing tonight. Uh, he didn't practice yesterday. He has a very sore boil that was just above the ankle of his right skate, and he didn't practice. And he's playing under a little bit of a handicap tonight. There's Milan Novi, the top scorer. Three goals and three assists for Czechoslovakia. Czernik, Frontoshek Czernik, from Ostrava, the Czechoslovakian league. And Augusta will complete the forward line to start this game for Czechoslovakia. Now for Team Canada. Hard to beat that. On defense, Vinny Milokat, number four, Bobby Orr. Eight all players in the tournament right now, a total of six assists. Bobby Orr. Vinny Milokat, number 23, Larry Robinson. They seem to have fitted well together, Larry Robinson and Bobby Orr. Robinson supplying that hard hitting. Alavant forwards, Vinny Milokat, number 12, Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald, a tough checker, a lot of desire, and you saw what kind of an effort he put in at Maple Leaf Garden Tuesday night. Number 27, Daryl Sittler. Daryl Sittler. Another key the member of that game. Left wing, Lenny Middle Trump got number 34, Bob Ganey. Listen to the hand for Bob Ganey, a hometown favorite. And we're just about set to go. Buck is dropped, and from center ice, Novi having trouble controlling it. McDonald picks it up, and then Chernik sends it back into his own end. Bobby Orr, center ice, off a leg, into the Czechoslovakian end, push to shield. And Makac, Makac takes a hit from Keeney. Buck comes to the blue line, Robinson clearing it in. Push to shield, behind his net. He's checked by Sittler, but he gets it ahead for Novi. It's center ice, along with Augusta and Chernik. Over the line, Augusta gets the pass. He's forced behind the net. Comes off Bobby Orr at the side of the net, and Rogatian Tyson hangs on, and we'll have a face-off as Lanny McDonald has a couple of words for Chernick there at the side of the net. At stages during this game, we'll be going to Philadelphia for goal-scoring highlights of the key game between the Soviet Union and the United States. The Soviets must win this game if they have any hopes at all of reaching the playoffs next week. But the United States has come on so well with a 4-4 tie against Czechoslovakia and a tough outing against Canada, and nothing is automatic in that one. The face-off will be deep in the Canadian end. Palenka against Carroll, but close to the far board. LaPointe moves in. Lafleur in the corner. Back to LaPointe. LaPointe working his way out. A hit for Martin and went right past him. Martin digs after it, but Bubla got back and knocked that away. Now turning and coming right back into the Canadian zone is Alinka. He's checked by Savard. Savard behind the net. Dropping it off. LaPointe. LaFleur. LaFleur to LaPointe. Point is out over the line to center ice to Perrault. He couldn't knock down that pass. Savard gets his stick to it, leaves it for Perrault. Perrault circling with it as Alinka. Four checks. Perrault still with it. Shoots it in. Holick goes back along with Lafleur. Holick behind his own net. Stops as he eludes Lafleur to Bubla. Across the line, tries a rink wide pass intended for Alinka. And Canada comes back. Perrault ducks through the checking of Holick. Tries to get it to Lafleur. Hollick comes up with it, tries to kick it ahead, and Perrault. Perrault over the line, and he's offside as Martin broke too quickly on the right side. And we'll have another faceoff. Early in the game, both coaches are changing very, very quickly. We've only played a minute uh, and uh, 30 seconds, roughly a minute and a half, and already we've had two changes. The first change both coaches made after 27 seconds. So they're not wasting any time getting fresh, fresh troops over the boards. Early in the first period, a scoreless tie between Canada and Czechoslovakia. Bobby Hull is out there with Esposito and Zion from the faceoff. Stosny, Stosny hits the line, pop and knocks him down, and Hull moves in. Hull sweeping behind his own net. Starting out, Bobby Hull across the line to center ice. His pass was intended for Dion. That did not work, and he had to chase it down himself, but Dion had crossed the blue line offside, and will have another faceoff. 
for Czechoslovakia. The line is Peter and Marian Stosny. Two brothers. And they're working on a line with Yaroslav Pozar. Esposito, Hull, Zeon remain out there. Spot fan from the faceoff. Checked by Stosny, but covering up with Bobby Orr. Over the line comes Pozar, and he is knocked to the ice by Denny Potvin. And there's going to be a penalty called for tripping. So Canada draws the first penalty of this game. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Here we have a replay. He just gets around Denny Potvin, and there was a little bit of stick in there along with his hip. He gets the two minutes for tripping for Team Canada. Play underway is from the faceoff from center ice. Augusta shoots it in. Digging after it is Milan Nove, but beating him to the puck is LaPointe to Barber. Barber against the far boards, and he is pulled down. There'll be a penalty there going to Martinet. Canada still in possession on the delayed whistle. Behind the net now is Barber, and they'll have lots of time now to organize if they can control the puck. Ahead for Savard, it hopped over his stick, and the whistle will go as soon as it crosses the line. It's called on the icing. And now Canada evens it up. Well, these are the types of penalties that, that really make coaches gray. Here, uh, the, the Czechoslovakian team has a man advantage. There was his Martinets with a stick between Bill Barber's legs. He dumps them, gets the two-minute penalty, and all sides are even now. Well, we played 228 here in the first period. It's still scoreless between Canada and Czechoslovakia. Also at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, they're early in the game, and the Soviet Union and the U.S. scoreless. Last report from Winnipeg, it was tied. Here we have a, a very strong discussion here. It's a very interesting point that Team Canada iced the puck uh, just as the delayed penalty was called. They're claiming the faceoff should go right down into the Czechoslovakian end rather than being called here at the blue line. And I think they're right here uh, uh, with their argument, but Gordy uh, Lee is talking with the Lions when they're bringing it to center ice because I feel that they did make a mistake. That should have come all the way down because the defending player didn't touch the puck until it was in his own end. But having automatic icing, it should go right to the Czechoslovakian end. However, they're facing off at center ice. That's sort of a compromise. From the face off at center ice, Robinson rink wide, trying to get it over the line to Zion, and turning and swinging it back into the Canadian zone was Augusta. Robinson to Orr. Teams playing even strength as Orr at center ice. Orr still with the puck, passes off to the far side. Here comes Mahovlich in with Orr. The shot is right on, and Orr cutting through the crease. Couldn't knock it down. Seven minutes left in the game. Sweden leading Finland by a score of 7-5 to five in Winnipeg. And I'll tell you, seven correction on that seven for Finland over Sweden I was about to say Finland always gives Sweden a tough time and they are a pair of the great rivals of Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union are and great rivals in history as well and uh, it has shown in world tournament play over the years on the faceoff just inside the blue line lets the floor over to Robinson here's the shot just deflected wide of the net by Gilbert Perrault Pollock trying to clear it away. Orr picks it up on the far board. Here's his shot again. Deflected. Gorilla just got his stick on it. Now in front of the net is Bubla. Carrying it out of danger behind the net. Bubla with Perot in for checking along with Lafleur. They clear to the far side and bringing it out to center ice now is Linka. Over to Bubla. Bubla coming in. His shot hit the side of the net. Bubla against the boards and Linka trying to clear it back to the point. Shot it all the way down the ice. 25 seconds remaining in the penalty to Denny Potvin. Canada will have a man advantage for about 25 seconds after that as Hollick comes out of his own end. Hollick along with Bubla. Hollick over the line. Bubla breaking for the net, but his pass is knocked down by Bobby Orr. LaFleur. LaFleur coming out of his end. Guy LaFleur still with that puck. Backhands a pass to Perrault. Perrault trying to duck through the defense, and he lost his balance. Keichel moves in, gets it out to center ice, then Halinka brings it back into his own end. Keichel to Bubla. Bubla against the boards, shooting it out to center ice. It went off Halinka and back into the Czechoslovakian zone. Bobby Hull. Hull clearing it back into his own end. He'll go back for it himself. Hull getting that skating room, which he loves to have. Over for Zion. Back to Hull. The pass was intercepted. And Marion Stosny is over the line. He's tied up from behind by Zion. Peter Stosny broke in too quickly. And we'll have another faceoff. 
This telecast is presented slowly for the interest of our viewers under copyright of Canada Cup of Hockey 76. Any use of this telecast without the express consent of Canada Cup of Hockey 76 is prohibited. Five minutes left in the game. Sweden five. That's the reaction, by the way, seven. from the score from Winnipeg. Finland leading Sweden seven to five. That last report with seven minutes remaining. From the faceoff, Savard inside his own blue line to LaPointe. LaPointe at center ice, off the board, Dion. Both teams now playing full strength in Czechoslovakia. Stosny taking a shot on Bashaw. He juggles it momentarily and then hangs on. We might mention here, neither of these two teams has allowed a power play goal against yet in this tournament. And uh, they just went through very brief periods of power play uh, activity there also with uh, nothing against. Here we have the Czechoslovakian player breaking quickly over the line. A good shot, and it almost got away. Uh, Rogi Vashon juggled it a little bit, but held on and got the face off in his own zone. We played 4-38 in the first period. It's scoreless. There's a quick shot from the face off, wide of the net. Barber tried to one-hand it out to center ice. He does. Bobby Clark along with Reggie Leach, two on one. Clark stopped, tried to feed it past the defenseman, and sliding along the ice was Vorjak. And he blocked that play. Savard from the point is shot. Bounce to the side of the net. Leach goes after it. Leach being checked by Dvorak and stepping out and scooping the puck into his batting. Those goaltender Vladimir Zarilla. He holds it for a faceoff. Dvorak and Leach having words. Barber moves in as well. Had a lot of shoving and so on in games here, but nothing more serious than that. 8-5 now. Finland. Leading Sweden with four minutes remaining in the game. Now what an upset this will be if, in fact, it remains that way. On the faceoff, Bot Van shooting it in. Bobby Clark digging after it along with Makach. Makach behind the net. In swoops Barber. He takes a hit on Makach and down goes Makach, but the puck comes to Chernik. Chernik to Novi at center ice. He turns as he's checked by Clark. Novi. Novi. Trying to hit the line. Okuska lost it in his skate. Here comes Denny Potvan. Potvan back over the line along with Leach. Leach couldn't reach the long pass. Novi goes in against the board. So does Leach. A loose puck picked up by Augusta. Number 16 for Czechoslovakia. Back behind the net for Makac. Makac clearing straight up ice. It goes all the way by everybody. Icing will be the call. The faceoff will come back down into the Czechoslovakia end. Well, perhaps this has been one of the most hard-hitting games early in the hockey game. Uh, both clubs have been hammering one another. Uh, it looks like the Czechoslovakian team is not going to back off, and they're playing the body of Team Can every time in their own zone. Philadelphia and the Soviet Union has taken the lead, scoring the first goal against Team USA. Here's the little shot off the edge of the net. Soviet Union won, Team USA, no score. Buck is behind the net. We'll get the official scoring on that one a little later. Behind the net, Sittler digging after it. Keichel moves in. He clips on the blue line, but not out. Here's Orr. Orr shooting, and it's off a leg. Behind the net, Abramon moving in. He's checked by Sittler. Now in comes Ganey, and he throws the hit on the Czechoslovakian player. Abramon picks it up. At center ice, Abramon stick handling over the line, working for the corner against Potvan, and down goes Abramon. Around the board, Solani McDonald. McDonald trying to feed ahead for Sittler, and it was knocked away. Orr behind his own net. Abramon in for checking. Potvan covering up to Sittler out to center ice. Pollock for Czechoslovakia. Shooting it back to the Canadian zone. Or or to Ganey. Ganey shooting it in. Gorilla leaving it behind his net for Bubla. Number 19 for Czechoslovakia. Bubla trying to work it along the boards. He's checked by Sittler and Abramon. To the far boards. Pollock. Pollock trying to get it out. And Bobby Hall intercepted that pass. Clears to Sittler. Sittler against the boards. And he's Fanned on that pass. Malinka has it for Czechoslovakia to Abermann. Abermann over the line to Alinka. Alinka trying to get loose in front of the net, and Zion coming back, scooped that one away. Sittler, ahead intended for Hall. It went by everybody. Dvorak going back for it. Icing will be the call, and they'll face off back down in the Canada end. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Face-off will be to the right of Rogachem Vashon in the Canadian end. Peter Stosny facing off against Phil Esposito. Esposito, Dion, and Hull for Team Canada. Here's Dvorak with his shot from the face-off. 
Bozar behind the net, trying to get it out in front, intercepted by Esposito. In the corner, starting out is Esposito along with Hull. The center ice feeds it ahead. Hull digging against the boards into the Czechoslovakian end, being checked by Stasny. Marian Stasny now moves in, and the puck comes loose to the far board. Bozar shooting at the center ice. Bozar digging after it, in over the line. Bozar at a bad angle, takes the shot. Comes all the way back to the blue line. Kalupa shooting well wide. Gila point for Dion. Stops just inside the line. Leads for Bobby Hull. Hull to Esposito. Esposito checked by Dvorak. Number nine, Dvorak behind the net. Holding it against the boards. Pozar moving in as well. And this time the faceoff will be in the Czechoslovakian end. Although they've had eight shots at goal, the Czechoslovakians have been on goal only once. So the shots on goal total right now are three to one favor Canada. We have played seven minutes and 48 seconds here in the first period, and it is scoreless. We mentioned Finland leading Sweden late in the game, 8-5, to five, and it's one nothing Soviet Union at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. They're playing the United States in that game, and that one is early in the first period. We'll do that face-off all over again. Esposito on the face-off, gets it on the Czech goal. Zarilla on the boards now. And Czechoslovakia trying to get loose. The pass was intended for Novi. It was knocked down. They regained possession, and the pass to Novi was intercepted by Peter Mohavlich. Chernik shooting it into the Canadian zone. In front of his own net, pot van to Esposito. Esposito to Mohavlich. Mohavlich back to Esposito, who was turned around on the play. Larry Robson swoops in. He picks it up, gives Mohavlich. Mohavlich to center ice. The pass knocked down. Makach. Makach is checked. Esposito shooting it in. Ospisil to center ice. Potvan shooting it in, and it's whistled on the offside. His play got very scrambly as the checking got a little intense. The score is now 8-6 with Finland leading Sweden. Only two minutes remaining in the game in Winnipeg. Scoreless here. We played 8-29 in the first period. Malenka out there along with Abraman. Also Yuri Halleck and the Bobby Clark line with Barber and Leach. On the faceoff, Leach loses it. Malenka brings it over the line, takes a shot on Vashon. Probably would have cleared the top of the net had Vashon not stopped it. Now it's Clark. Clark for Canada to Barber. Barber shooting it in. Leach after it. Leach along with Halleck. Leach trying to clear it out. Abraman ends up with the puck. Number 25 for Czechoslovakia to the side of his net. Now it's Keichel. Keichel knocked down on his pass. Here's Mark Barber. His, his shot right on. Rilla makes the save there. And it's Alinka. Alinka out of, over his own line. Aberman. Aberman chased out of the play by Robinson, who will go back after the puck. He literally bowls his way along the boards. Clark goes after it. Robinson comes up with it, shoots to center ice. Keichel. Ububla. Number 19 for Czechoslovakia. Back to Yeri Halek. Halek is over the line. His shot. Good save there by Vashov. Puck comes to the blue line. Bubla with a shot. It's deflected off against the boards on the far side where Leach sends it to center right. Bobby Clark successfully makes the check, but then in turn is checked by Keichel. Loose puck picked up by Potvan. Potvan over the line. Potvan along with Leach. Out in front intended for Leach. Halek intercepted that one. It comes back to the blue line, and Barber could knock it down. Robinson. To Perro. Perro is over the line. Perro trying to dig around Keiko. Drops it back for Potvan. His shot is right on. And Zarilla goes down and hangs on. Still scoreless in a tight checking first period of hockey here at the Montreal Forum. Well, Perro, he showed a little bit of speed here. Actually, Keiko turned the wrong way. He went back to the inside. But he came around after Perro dropped the puck. Quick shot. Zarilla made a good save. But it was a, a pretty good offensive play there with the Czechoslovakian defenseman turned the wrong way. He came back the inside, turned his back on Gilbert Perot before he dropped the puck. Face off to the left of Zirilla. Peter Stasny facing off against Gilbert Perot from the face off. Lafleur couldn't control it and it ended up hopping over the blue line. Savard. Savard over for Lafleur. Lafleur to Martin. Past him. Kalupa. Stasny. Stasny can't get over the line as he's checked from behind by Martin and the puck bounces back into the Czechoslovakian. end. Dvorak. Over for Pozar on the far boards. He gets it out to center ice, and Sabard has it for Team Canada. To the point, Lafleur, Perrault. Checking still very close. Is over the line, comes Martin. 
Martin trying to get set, and he is bumped out of the play there by Kalupa. Stasny. Stasny to the boards on this side. Peter Stasny. And he fanned on that one. A bad pass as Lafleur tries to get set in the slot. Unable to do so. The Savard gets it at the blue line. Over to the point. There's the shot. It went off a leg. Pozar on the far boards. Working his way to the blue line. He's checked by Martin. Martin with Lafleur breaking in front of that net. He took a shot off a leg. Kalupa against the far boards. Farrell. Farrell working in front of the net. Out of Martin. Martin shoots. Appear to be blocked partly by Zarilla. Here's another shot. Zarilla just got a piece of that one. Stosny starting out of his own end. Ahead for his brother Peter. Peter Stosny to the line to Marianne Stosny. Offside is too quick on the other side. What Marianne least uh, two quick on the other side for Spozar. The outside, the face off coming up. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Sittler going against Novi on the face off. Sittler wins the draw. Robinson getting it to the blue line, but not out. Novi against the board, trying to get it into the slot. Chernick picks it up at the blue line. That's knocked down by Robinson, and Makach gets it back at center ice. Makach for Czechoslovakia. Clears to an open wing. Agosta eating it ahead. McDonald. Inning it against the boards, it'll be held for another face-off. The Czechoslovakian centers have been doing a much better job in the face-offs. They've been winning more of their uh, of the draws than they did in the pre-tournament game. In the pre-tournament game, Canada completely controlled the puck from the face-offs, many times getting possession of the puck. Robinson, new or from the face-off. He puts it right onto the stick of Makach. Makach is over the line, his shot deflects off the stick of Bobby Orr. And it's Robinson. Robinson clearing it out over center. Pospisil going back. And he shoots it back up to Novi. Novi to Chernik. Chernik over the line. Chernik working for the corner. Clearing it in front. And Novi was just not in deep enough. Out to center right. And it's Bob Ganey. Ganey over the line. Dropping it to McDonald. And his shot went off the leg of Pospisil into the corner. Ganey took a, takes a hit in there. Augusta. Augusta back to the blue line. Or couldn't control it. And circling in his own end is Larry Robinson. Robinson over for McDonald, and he shoots it in. Makach deep in his own end. Four checking is Esposito. Makach trying to control it. Manages the one-handed to Abermont. Abermont is spun around by Hull and forced to retreat. Abermont goes down. There'll be a penalty to Marcel Dion on the tripping on fraction. So Canada plays a man short. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. There's the final score from Winnipeg. Finland defeated Sweden by a score of 8-6. to six. And Boy, that really throws the blocks to the standings right now. But uh, those uh, two teams are great rivals, and Finland always seems to reserve their, their best games to play against Sweden, but what a time to knock them off. That really uh, puts a damper on Sweden's hopes for a tournament victory. From the face-off, LaPointe clearing it into Czechoslovakian territory. Keichel is back there. Keichel to Bubla. Bubla back to Keichel behind the Czechoslovakian net. To Bubla again. Bubla trying to work his way out. The puck is deflected to the far side. And then poked back into the Czechoslovakian end by Clark. Pollock against the boards. Back out to center ice. LaPointe to Savard. Savard working across that red center line, then feeds ahead for Barber. Barber shooting it deep into the Czechoslovakian and, and Yeti Holick. Holick on his way out of his own end, and making a check was Bobby Clark, but Canada could not control as Bubla covered up. To Halinka. Halinka taking a shot. That was off the leg of Serge Savard. Martinet's going after it along with Savard. They'll pin it in there and hold it for a face off. It's interesting that the Czechoslovakian defenders really like to move up, uh, not only when they have the power play, but any time they get an opportunity, they move right in on the offensive zone to try and get an opportunity at net. In Philadelphia, there's the second Soviet goal now, as it was scored by Viktor Shluktov. And the Soviet Union is leading 2 to nothing over the United States, for what probably is a big crowd at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. People in Philadelphia remembering that great game the Flyers played against the Soviet Union. Out of the zone, zone comes Barber, and he is upended by Kalupa. Kozar goes back to get it in his own end. Borzak. Borzak to Stosny. Peter Stosny ahead for Chernik. Chernik trying to work around the defense, and Denny Potvin has been really throwing his weight around in this game. Rode him right out of the blade. Borzak at center ice to Kalupa, back in his own blue line. 
Stastny, Marion Stastny to the line. Stastny getting set. There's the shot, and he cleared the top of the net with it. Stastny gets it again to Kalupa. Back for Stastny. Playing his off wing now as he's checked by Orr. Mahovlitz clears it to center right. Kalupa, Dvorak. Dvorak drops it back for Kalupa. Kalupa moving up. Gives to Peter Stastny. Over the line. Stastny dropping it back. Pozar back to Stastny. Another Marion in front. He couldn't get that pass. It's Potvan. Cleared it into the corner. Potvan playing the best game I think we've seen him play in this series. The puck is cleared out to center right. Dvorak. In his own end. Dropping it back. That's Kalupa. Back now for Dvorak. He circles away from the checking of Peter Mahovlitz. Mahovlitz goes after him and Dion kicks it behind the net. Stastny goes down. Dion has it. Clears it into the area in front of the net. But it went off a Czechoslovakian leg and out to center right. Bobby Orr just flipping it back in. Kalupa deep in his own end. As Dion moves into four check. Dion makes the check. Gets the puck down. He goes and he threw a penalty on the play. Good effort by Marcel Dion on that one. And with 4.58 remaining in the first period, Canada will make use of the power play. Well, it's gone to 3-0 for the Soviet Union. Uh, in Here it is now. We'll get a chance to see that third Soviet goal. Shluktov, there it is on the rebound, getting the shot away first there with Boris Alexandrov. The Soviet Union getting a good 3-0 lead. I'm sure they'll be spurred by the victory Finland had over Sweden. They'll know that score by now. Well, here we have Halupa upsetting uh, Marcel Dion. And uh, Halupa, I think, lost his cool a little bit. He had taken a very stiff check. Uh, after he gave a, a stiff check to Barber, he took another stiff one. And he was looking for somebody, but he drew the penalty in the tripping to Dion. Play underway as LaPointe tries to get the shot away. Novi knocked that down. Hull has it. Canada on a power play. Hull against the board being checked by Novi along with Makac. And it's been against the boards and held again for a faceoff. Novi made a smart little play there. He broke his stick moving out to check at the point. And uh, rather than play with, uh, with a broken stick, he was able to get his uh, skate on the puck against the boards and face the face or force the faceoff. A very good play by Novi after breaking his stick. Well, they have Guy Lafleur uh, playing on the right side of this line along with Hull and Esposito, and they've dropped Dion back to a point position working with uh, Guy Lapointe on this power play. We have 4.45 remaining in the period. It is still scoreless. It has been a close checking first period so far. There we see the linesman, uh, the stick, uh, Novi stick was so badly broken, it splintered, and uh, rather than risk injury to a player stepping on one of the splinters, they took a long time making sure they got all that lumber off the ice. Just recapping what has gone on uh, tonight, one game is over, 8-6, a bit of a shocker, Finland over Sweden, and it's 3-0 Soviet Union leading the United States in their game down in the spectrum at Philadelphia. This one is scoreless, and we have 4.35 remaining in the period. Now Dion against the boards on the far side to Lafleur. Lafleur trying to get it out in front. It's deflected past Bobby Hall off the stick of Martinets. And Lapointe will go back as the puck is left for him by Rogi Vachon. Not too many good scoring opportunities so far in this game. As we've mentioned, it has been close checking. Now here's Bobby Hall breaking in on that great pass from Esposito. And Cirillo makes the great save. Wow, what a play by Phil Esposito. But Bobby Hull rounded deep in his own zone. He moved up the wing, cut into the middle behind the defense. Bill uh, just put a great pass between the two defenders, and the puck took a little bit of a bad bounce over Bobby's stick just as he was getting ready to shoot the puck. Here he is trying to control it, just takes that bounce. He can't get enough wood on it to put the puck by Zarilla, but just a great pass by Phil Esposito, and Bobby Hull moved in quickly between the two Czechoslovakian defenders. Is that all of Always the way we say there haven't been too many great scoring opportunities and what happens. Potvan now from the faceoff, 109 remaining in the penalty. He, Potvan again moves in, but before he could get to it, Martinet clears it down into the Canadian zone. Bobby Orr for Team Canada. Orr checked by Hollick. Orr cutting in front of his own net. Orr still with it, cruising very slowly. Martinets is number 10 for Czechoslovakia. Tried to clear it over to Reggie Leach, and that was intercepted by Hollick. Potvan. Starting out over the blue line. Then he fought Van to Leach. Leach over the line to Clark. Clark had it poked away from him by Hollick. 
And out at center ice, Potvan. Number six for Team Canada, Potvan to Orr. Orr over the line, and just as he crossed the line, Bill Barber broke too quickly. And it's called on the offside. 3.24 left in the first period. Nothing, nothing. Canada, Czechoslovakia. Well, Bobby Orr has been controlling the puck on the, on the power play. The fans sometimes getting a little upset with Team Canada, uh, thinking they should score quickly when they have the man advantage, but they're taking their time trying to set up that one good opportunity. Now here's Orr. That center ice to Clark. Clark flipping it in. Deep in his own end is Augusta for Czechoslovakia. Around the boards. Potvan will knock it down at the point. Over to Orr on the far side. Orr back to Potvan. He's got some room. Flip shot. Oh, he hit the crossbar. That was Leach. Deflected it. Looked like he had a wide open net, and he just hit it off the crossbar. Now it's Clark behind the net. Clark back out to the point for Orr. Here's Orr shooting to the side of the net. Leach couldn't knock it down. A quick shot there by Barber. Clark has it. Clark still controlling it in the traffic to Barber, and he shot it, and it was just battered away by Cirilla. Great chance there. They pin it against the boards. Augusta, along with Leach and Barber, and also Alinka. And it's called for a face-off as the teams have gone to even strength once again. Well, Potvin uh, and uh, Bobby Hall moved the puck quickly between the points. That shot by Denny Potvin was just deflected up, uh, hitting the crossbar. Here we see Bobby Clark controlling the puck, controlling the puck. Great point play. Orr takes his time just off the side of the net. Leach gets another opportunity to try and tip that puck in. And again, Clark waiting, 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 getting it out in front. Barber just shot that puck wide. Zerillo deflecting it over the net. Back to live action. There's Richard Martin getting set in front of the net, and it rolled off the end of his stick. Warshak into the corner. Pozar. Pozar clearing it up to center ice. That's very Sussy over the line. Good play by Gila Point as he poked it away from him. Savard against the boards along with Stasny, and they hold it in there, and there'll be another faceoff. While the Czechoslovakian team did there what they like to do very, very well. They like that long pass coming out of their own zone, uh, moving between the defenders with Stasny, but they like to make that long pass from deep in their own zone to a forward who's breaking into the middle in the neutral zone around center ice. But they did that very well in that last shift. Still 3 0, the Soviet Union leading the United States in Philadelphia, three minutes remaining in the first period. 2.20 left in this one here, and it's still scoreless. center right. Perot over the line. Perot is spun around by Dvorak. Here's Martin getting set. And he cleared it to the side of the net. Now they, it's uh, Lafleur trying to get it out in front. He goes after it again. Pozar against the boards on the far side. The Stasny. Stasny trying to get it out. Martin trying to control it. Now it's Lafleur. Lafleur to Martin. That failed to work as Pozar intercepted. Pozar along with Marianne Stasny over the line. Pozar trying to work in front of the net. Stasny covers up. Put it right on to Martin's stick. A head for Perot. Perot at center ice. A head for Lapointe. And beating him to the puck was Kalupa. Turning now. Peter Stasny over the line. And he's checked from behind by Martin. Guy Lafleur with 132 remaining in the first period. Puck is underneath Lapointe. And we'll have another face on. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. There's a replay of that good check there. Uh, taken... On Gilbert Perrault, we're just about ready to go back to live action here. Of course, there's lots of calculation going on. Ron Andrews trying to figure out exactly what will happen now if the Soviet Union and Team Canada do, in fact, win tonight. Sweden having uh, lost their game to Finland. We'll get to that in a few moments. His play is underway, and Makach is out of center ice with it, clearing it rink-wide blindly right on the McDonald's stick and oar. Circling back into his own end for Robinson, number 23 for Team Canada. His pass was a weak one. Postashil intercepted. Puck is loose. McDonald kicking it back into the Team Canada end for Orr. Orr for McDonald. McDonald down the right side. Back to Sittler. Sittler trying to get it in front. Down goes Sittler on the play. And the puck is cleared into the area in front of the net. And Chernick ahead for Noby. Noby to the line. Noby working along with Makac to try to get it back out in front. And it's McDonald who scoops it up and shoots it back into the Czechoslovakian end. There'll be no icing here is Postbrasil. That's back. Needs it along for Makach. Makach ahead. Here's Augusta in full flight getting in front of the net. Oh, great save by Bobby Orr. He just goes after that puck. Now it's Barber relaying it into the Czechoslovakian end. Sittler is after it, trying to get it out in front for Barber. Goes to the far boards. Reg Leach. Leach into the corner for Sittler. Sittler was turned around on the play, and the puck is rifled off the board. Down the ice by Chernick, and will be called for the 
icing with 14 seconds remaining. Well, there's hockey at its best. Makash just made a great pass. Uh, right ahead to Pozar, who was breaking in all by himself. Here he is breaking, and then Bobby Orr with his diving little sweep check pulls the puck away from Pozar into the corner, into safety. And just a great play by Bobby Orr and a terrific pass by Makash. First period is over in Philadelphia. The Soviet Union leading the United States by a score of three to nothing. And throughout this telecast from the Forum here in Montreal, we'll be bringing you goal-scoring highlights of that game, as you've seen so far. From the face-off, Kubla pinned against the boards by Bobby Clark, and we'll do it all over again with 10 seconds remaining in the period. It is scoreless between Czechoslovakia and Canada. And we've said a number of times it has been very, very close checking. Bobby Hull has probably had the greatest scoring opportunity on a breakaway, but Buck seemed to hop over his stick just before he got it, the shot away. Zarilla goes down and hangs on again from the faceoff. That took up five seconds. And with five seconds left, the faceoff again will be to Zarilla's right. Five seconds left, the end of the period, faceoff in the offensive zone. You take out your goalie. Can you ace the puck in five seconds? Well, Did you do it? Done. I'd do it. Uh, perhaps percentages and so on. They think of these things in pro sports. Out to the blue line. Abermann. One second left, picking it up on the siren goals to end the first period. And Team Canada and Czechoslovakia played it very, very close to the best, and the two teams come out scoreless. Well, I think it had to be the hardest hitting uh, period of hockey we've seen in the tournament so far. Not very many penalties, but a lot of tough checks. So it is scoreless between Canada and Czechoslovakia, end of the first period. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Play is underway in the second period. Denny Potvin and Peter Stasny behind his own net, trying to clear it ahead. No beat. The post for seal to Augusta and his shot, and that hurt as Bobby Orr slashes it down the ice. I think he took that one off his shoulder, and he's heading for the bench. Deep inside the Czechoslovakian end, Makac. Makac to Stasny. Stasny out over his own blue line to center right. Stasny hits the line, drops it intended for Novi. Here comes Potvin, having trouble controlling it, gives it to Hull. There's the shot, and he's right of the net with that one. Esposito out in front and hopped over the stick of Bobby Hull up to center ice. Cleared back into the Czechoslovakian end, but trapped inside the blue line with Bobby Hull, and it's offside. Here we see uh, Bobby Orr and the shot coming from the point from Augusta, the quick one, hitting him high up on the shoulder, and he was in pain. He holds it, tries to get the puck out of his own zone, holds his shoulder going off the ice, and he's being looked at now by trainer Lefty Wilson. Seems to be all right. We can hope so. He's been playing very well in this game and also the one in Toronto against Sweden. E. Lafleur from the faceoff, clearing it deep into the Czechoslovakian end. Bubla couldn't control it. Out to Martin, it comes. Here's his shot. That's right on. Zarilla steering it into the corner. The point. Digging in deep, checked by Keiko. The puck comes to the side of the net. Hollick with it. Hollick checked by Perot. Perot loses his balance, and Bubla comes in to pick up the loose puck. Bubla starting out to Hollick. Hollick at center ice. Hollick that rink wide pass for Linka. Linka goes into the Canadian zone. Clearing it in front, and Stashny got his stick on it. That's all. Couldn't control it. Good pass by Perrault to LaPointe. Back to Perrault at center ice. Shooting it in. After it is LaFleur along with Hollick. Now moving in is Perrault. He made the check, but the loose puck is picked up by Stashny. This is Marianne Stashny at center ice, and he is checked by Guy LaPointe. Yogi Vashon stepping out of the crease. Leaves it for LaPointe. LaPointe. To the far side, that went right by Richard Martin all the way down to the Czechoslovakian goal, and Cirillo with Martin cruising in front, holds it for a face-off. I'm very impressed with the way the Czechoslovakian team four checks. They, they use their defensemen. If the puck comes around the boards to the winger on the side, they press their defensemen right down. They'll chase you all the way down to the hash mark. Here we have a hit in the corner, uh, Richard Martin throwing his weight around. But as we were saying, they, those Czechoslovakian defensemen are doing a good job running all the way down the hash mark to keep the puck in, and the winger on the same side is backing them up. On the faceoff, it goes by Leach. Czechoslovakia in control is Dvorak. Goes into the corner. Dvorak out to Stasny. Over to Novak. Novak making his first appearance along with Bohanas Stasny. It comes out to center ice. Leach with it. Leach, 14, Canada. Hits the line. Leach trying to duck through the defense. He gets it in front. And coming across with Martinets to make the check. Dvorak. Stopped in the corner. Puck comes along the boards. Knocked down by Leach. He flips it back 
Clark trying to pin it against the boards. Also in there was Boleslav Stosny, and it's held for another faceoff. The shot at goal. Statistic, an interesting one. Ron Andrews of the National Hockey League office keeping track for us. Shots at goal. Canada has outshot Czechoslovakia 20 to 16. On goal, it is 9 to 3 favor Canada. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Back at the Montreal Forum, it's scoreless between Canada and Czechoslovakia. They play 232 in the second period. Face off deep in the Czechoslovak zone. Augusta. In the corner, feeding it along the board. Starting out of his own end is Peter Stasny at center ice. Stasny ducks by the check of Robinson or comes in to pick up the loose puck and is poked away by Barber at center ice. Novi having trouble against Barber. Clark moves in along with Barber. Barber checked from behind by Stasny. Moving into the corner and he is upended. And Clark turning with it out to Barber. His shot right into the goal. Grayson Cirilla just put it to the side and then covered up. Is the crowd calling for a penalty on him. Here we have uh, the fourth Soviet goal by Vikulov, uh, high up in the corner to put uh, the Soviet Union ahead of Team USA, 4 to 0. All right, now watch Barber here. He's noted for his dives. There's one of them. <laughs> he has been known to take the odd one and draw the odd penalty because of it. Uh, that one was just maybe a stumble in the corner, shall we say. 9.5. 9.5. Face off now. There's a shot. McDonald off his leg. Blinka over for Bubla. Bubla getting it out to center ice. Stashny's over the line. He fans on his shot. Fashion leaves it for Sittler. Sittler puts it right on the Holic stick, but gets it back again along the boards. McDonald getting it out over the blue line after it is Ganey, but he couldn't control it. Keichel takes the hit from Ganey, and Ganey comes up with a puck. Good checking by Ganey. Malinka. Malinka checked from behind by Sittler, gives to Stasny. Stasny's over the line, had a roll off the end of his stick, and Savard. For Ganey, out to Sittler. Sittler along with McDonald over the line, and Hollick came back to cover up. Malinka then is hit by Ganey, against the board. Malinka moving up ice. And the loose puck is picked up by Savard. He keeps it out of the Canadian zone. Sittler, Sittler to McDonald. McDonald ducking by the check of Keichel. McDonald getting in front. Oh, what a great save there by Zarilla. That one was deflected right on him. He went down and made the save, and Hollick comes back for Czechoslovakia. There's the shot. It hit the glass behind the net off a stick. Savar in the corner. There's Savar. The pass for Ganey. Ganey out for the point. The point's over the line. He's stopped by Stasny, and the puck is cleared down the ice. Icing will be the call. We played four minutes and 17 seconds here in the second period. Czechoslovakia nothing and Canada nothing. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Well, here we have an example of, uh, of uh, uh, a good shot from the side of Lanny McDonald. The puck was laying there. Daryl Sittler wasn't quite able to get a stick on it to slip it underneath uh, Zarilla. And it was a very good stop by Zarilla and a cover-up. For the face-off, the puck is loose in the face-off circle. Zion couldn't get to it as Stosny tried to move in on him, and it's cleared down the ice. Potman will go after it, icing again the call. And it'll come back down for another face-off to the left of Zarilla. Well, referee Gordy Lee is letting quite a bit go here. Uh, they're pounding one another, and you can hear the checks up here, but it's a real tough hockey game. And a good hockey game. Uh, technically, I think the best that, uh, from an overall standpoint that Canada has played in this series. That's good news. It's from the face off, the puck is cleared to the far boards. Martinet clearing it out to center ice. Or over for Hot Van, he clears it in. Vorjak turning with it and coming right back out again to Novak. Novak shooting it off the boards. And Bashon leaving it for Orr behind the net. Orr clearing it along the boards. Dion. Dion pinned against the boards there by Novak. And they'll hold it in. This time the face off in Team Canada's end. And there's the coach of the Czechoslovakian team, Karol Gut, former captain of Czechoslovakia. One year as a defenseman in their league, he scored 35 goals. That's an interesting total when you figure that their league schedule is only 36 games long. Going more and more to the younger coaches in European hockey. On the faceoff, Bobby Orr. Behind the net for Potvin. 
A fan for Esposito along the left side, and he just couldn't control it, picking up the pass, and Pospisil covers up. Augusta over the line. Augusta, his pass knocked down by Orr. He gets it again, and Dion makes the check on him. Orr, the hole. All at center right, along with Esposito, over the line. Orr was offside. He preceded the puck over the line. And they'll face off just outside Czechoslovakia's blue line. Scoreless, a nothing, nothing tie. Canada and Czechoslovakia with five minutes and 13 seconds gone. Well, there we have a look at Bobby Hull, and uh, what a goal scorer he's been throughout his career. Ron Andrews tells us that he scored 838 goals, 604 of those goals in the National Hockey League, and the rest with Winnipeg and World Hockey. Now from the faceoff, Akac behind his own net for Czechoslovakia. Out to Augusta, number 16 for Czechoslovakia. On the far boards to Novi. Novi is over the line. Novi trying to beat Guy Lapointe. That gets the shot away. He's wide of the net on the rebound. Got a chance, but Lapointe, recovering very well, made the check on it. Off the board, Pospisil moving along the boards, and he's checked by Lapointe. Two good plays by Guy Lapointe. Augusta out in front, Novi shot wide. Savard. Savard off the boards. Martin getting it caught up in his skates. Flips it out to center ice. Coming back is Novi. One of the finer players on this Czechoslovakian team. Novi, their top scorer with three goals and three assists. Here's Harrell to Lafleur. Lafleur trying to break loose, and he is checked by the team captain for Czechoslovakia, number seven, Bostrasil. To Stasny. Stasny over the line, trying to clear it in front. That went off a leg, and very alertly, Rogachem Vashov cleared it off into the corner. Savard. Savard. To Perro, he is checked by Pozar. Pozar trying to get it into the slot. And Stasny just couldn't reach that one. Perro, 14 Canada to Martin. Martin is over the line. Martin trying to break through the defense. Lincoln covered up into the corner. Lafleur out to the point with Savard. Here's Savard's shot, and it's wide of the net. Malinka on the boards on the left side. The center ice for Makach. Makach, number four, over the line. Makach working to the corner. Clears it out in front. It's loose there. And Lapointe got down in front of that shot. They shoot again, right on, Vashon making the save. Malenka off the board, Arrow, Arrow ahead for Martin. Martin at center right. Martin's over the line, gives it to Lafleur, gets it back again, and the shot is wide. Against the boards, Lafleur. He's pinned against the boards by Pozar, along with Keichel, and we'll have another faceoff. Immediately following the game, of course, as we have been in the habit of doing throughout this Canada Cup series, the presentation of the Eskimo carvings, the Canada Cup awards for the most valuable player from each team. Here's some of the action as Rogi Vashon and also Guy Lapointe, very, very good in that sequence of plays in the Team Canada end. McDonald getting it back to Orr. That just like hit the crossbar with that. Robinson shooting. And that one uh, on the short side stopped by Cirilla. Robinson again. Trying to control it. He gets it out to center ice. Uh, and Robinson turns with it and sends it to Orr. Orr is over the line. Taking after it along with Keichel. Orr out in front. And it's knocked down by Bob Dini. And he shot it just wide. Now behind the net. A little shoving going on between Ganey and Pozar. Keiko pins it in there along with Bobby Orr. And we'll have another face off. Here we have uh, Bobby Orr, and Bobby Orr controlled the puck at the point in that last sequence. Got a very good shot from the point. Kept it nice and low. Was deflected high uh, above Zarilla, off the crossbar. But that was uh, just an inch or so lower on the deflection. And Team Canada would have been ahead uh, one to nothing. But uh, Team Canada's had some excellent opportunities. Just having a little bit of bad luck around the Czechoslovakian net. Here, here we have the shot. Whoops, there's Peter Mahovlich giving the deflection. Hits the crossbar. Comes back in. And again, Ganey digging for the puck. Here's Orr from the face office. We're back to live action. Robinson shooting it. It's off a leg. Novak got that one in the skates. Comes out in front of the net. Ganey couldn't reach it. Now it's McDonald. Here's his shot. A screen shot and a good save there by Zerilla again. Ganey out to Orr. Orr shooting it. And it's loose in front of the net. McDonald cruising through the slot. And he just couldn't get the shot away. Robinson at center ice, waiting for Mates to get on side, drops it off for McDonald to Orr. To McDonald again. McDonald, number 12 for Team Canada, center ice shooting it in. And back to get it is Kalupa for Czechoslovakia. Kalupa starting out, feeding it away up ice, but off the stick of Martinets, and as it goes across the red line, deep in Canadian territory, it's called on the icing. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. 
In that game at Winnipeg, which was won by Finland, eight to six. For Finland, Oksanen with two goals. Tumminen also with two. For Sweden, Johansson, Hedberg, Alberg, Roland Eriksson, Hammerstrom, also Eriksson. Oria Salming, who must be getting tired in this series, an assist, but he was on ice for four goals against. On the faceoff, Buck comes out to Augusta to Novi. Novi is knocked to the ice. The point. Back in his own end, Clark had to go by him, but he managed to deflect it out to center ice, and it will be held for another face-off in the center ice area. Face-off just to the Team Canada side of the red center line, Bill Barber. Back with his Philadelphia line mates, Bobby Clark and Reg Leach for this game. Reunited, Leach did not play in Toronto against Sweden. Ospisil from the face-off into the Team Canada territory. Benny Potvin brings it right back out again. A rink-wide pass. Leach digging in after it. Stepping out is Nerilla. Cleared into the corner. Augusta against the boards along with Bobby Clark. It's held there. We'll have another face-off. We played 8 minutes 45 seconds here in the second period. And it's still Canada nothing. Here we have an example uh, from Philadelphia with uh, Team USA, and the game's getting a little chippy there. We have a little bit of high sticking and shoving in front of the net. Whoops! Coming in with the elbow and the sticks. In the city of brotherly, brotherly love. Not nice when you're behind 4 nothing in your own ring. That's the score in Philadelphia. The Soviet Union leading by four over the United States, as we've mentioned a number of times. Sweden lost to Finland, 8-6 to six in Winnipeg. Eight forty-five gone on the second period. We're nearing the midway point of this hockey game and still no score. And that is an indication of just how tight it has been, but it has still been a very excellently played hockey game. No question about that. Uh, good hits, good defensive plays, good passes. A very good hockey game. The point from the faceoff gets it at the blue line, moves in a couple of strides, gets the shot away, and he shuts wide with that one. Potvin on the far board, shooting it in front, went off Bobby Clark. Like, Here's Leach, and a good save there by Zerilla. Leach gets it again. He spun around on the play. The puck comes out to the blue line. Halinka relaying it out to center ice, and there's LaPointe. LaPointe passing it right into the skates of Bubla. The loose puck is picked up by Leach. Leach over the line. Leach trying to go around Bubla. He does. Leach with a backhand shot, but he was in very deep on that one. Almost no chance of scoring. Like a third of the field, the field getting set. Oh, and Cirillo. Another good save. The point gets it at the blue line. There's the shot, and it's deflected wide. Now here's Leach. Desposito. It's loose in front. Leach shoots again, and down goes Cirillo. Oh, what a shift that Leach has had. Well, Cirillo's just made a few excellent stops. He's staying on his feet. He didn't make the first move on Phil Esposito. There's the shot by LaPointe. Esposito getting it out in front. There's Leach getting one shot. Gets another one at the side of the net on the backhand. And as we saw, Zarilla on his feet until the last possible second. Well, Zarilla is playing an excellent game, and he's staying on his feet. He's not going down. He's staying up there, making the attackers make the first move. He's hanging in with that puck. On the faceoff, Marcel Zion poking it in. Kalupa behind his own net to Martinet. Martinet shooting it out to center ice. And there it is. Uh, Robinson feeding it ahead. Novak for Czechoslovakia clearing it in right onto Bobby Orr's stick. Orr out to center ice for Hull. Hull up by a check, has the puck to Dion. Dion trying to put it into the slot. And Stasny playing very well defensively, coming back to make the interception. Now Robinson will try. Over the line for Dion. Dion digging for the corner. Dion out into the slot again. And this time it is Borjak who makes the play, breaking it up. Puck slides all the way down into the Team Canada end. Robinson back for it to Orr. Orr back to Robinson in the far corner. And again around the boards. Augusta moving in along with Dion. The puck slides by the pair of them. And Esposito gets it to center ice. Hull goes after it, but he couldn't reach it before Kalupa got to it. Novak over to the far side for Martinet. Augusta breaking for the net. Martinet ducks the check of Robinson and the puck is poked out to center ice. Kalupa for Czechoslovakia. More Pospisil. Back to Kalupa at his own blue line. Ahead off the stick of Bobby Hull. And the puck is returned to the Czechoslovakian end. Pospisil, number seven. Turning, one handing it off the boards. And here's Novi for Czechoslovakia. Novi, their top scorer. Over the line, offside. 
Too quick on the far side was Augusta. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. There's Bobby Orr over at the Canadian players bench playing very well tonight, as is all of Team Canada's defense. In this scoreless hockey game, we played 10.59 of the second period. We have passed the midway point. Still nothing, nothing. Devard, Devard over for LaPointe. LaPointe at center ice. LaPointe shoving it into the Czechoslovakian end. He'll go in after it himself. Makac checked by LaPointe. Ganey has it. He couldn't control it as he took a hit from Pospisil. And the puck is cleared to center ice for Augusta. Augusta to Makac. Makac is checked by Sittler. Sittler off the boards and he overskated the puck and Augusta shoots it back into the Team Canada end. LaPointe. Around the boards for Ganey. Ganey put it right by Sittler, but McConnell gave it back to Ganey, and he's over the line. Sittler. Sittler out in front, and cut off a leg away from McDonald, and the puck is out at center ice. Novi over for Stasny. Stasny is over the line. Over. Here's a shot by Holick. That one was wide. Savard against the boards. Ahead, and Sittler couldn't knock it down. Makach. Makach. Orgosta. Back to Hollick. Hollick is in over the line now. Hollick along with Holinka and Stasny. Stasny gets the pass. Peter Stasny going behind the net. Up for Hollick. Hollick shoots. Oh, what a save by Rogie Bashaw on a shot that was labeled. Well, Rogie Bashaw came right out to the top of the crease and, and cut off the angle. Here we see it drop to Hollick. Look at Rogie come right out to the top of the crease and glove it. He made sure there wasn't too much net to shoot at. He went to the far side, Hollick went to the far side, and Rogi came with a glove stop. But he made a good move coming out very quickly to cut down the angle so that the Czechoslovakian player didn't have too much to shoot at. So the faceoff will be deep inside Team Canada territory. Blinka facing off against Peter Mahovlich. And the puck is dropped. Mahovlich controlling it. Back to Orr behind Team Canada's net. Leaves for Mahovlich. The hole. Hull starting out. Bobby Hull with that skating room he loves to have as he crosses the line. Hull rink wide. Lafleur trying to get it at the blue line. And it was poked away from him by Keichel. Lafleur over for Mahovlich. Mahovlich just crosses the line. Leads it into the corner for Lafleur. Lafleur and Keichel in there behind the net. Hollick moves in. Makes the check. Two players go down. Czechoslovakia coming out of their own end. Holick, number 20 for Czechoslovakia. Over the line for Stasny. Stasny trying to get it to the side of the net. And Mahovlich has it. Mahovlich up the right board. Mahovlich and Lafleur. Mahovlich cutting across, gives it to Lafleur, and he was offside, getting in too quickly and beating the pass. No change in the score in Philadelphia. Still 4-0, the Soviet Union leading. They are past the midway point of the second period as well. Soviet Union leading the United States. In Canada, juggling their lines somewhat. Lafleur comes off. Barber goes out now. And here's Leach and also Clark. So that line is intact. Is dropped from the face off or gets it at center ice. He tries to clear it over the line intended for Barber. Here's Novak breaking in all along. Novak getting set. He hit the ball. And Klotzman comes up with a rebound. Back comes Team Canada over the line intended for Leach. And back to get it now. Stasny. Stasny pushed off the play. Kalupa. He's checked by Clark. In the corner, Kalupa again. Number five for Czechoslovakia. Ahead for Novak. Spun around is Klotzman. And here comes Clark back in over the line. Clark trying to drop it back for Leach. And here come the Czechoslovaks once again. Novak over the line. Novak turning against the board. Novak shooting it to the side of the net. There it was Martinet, but he just couldn't get a shot away in traffic. And the puck is cleared back out to center ice. Clark shooting it into the Czechoslovak end. Over the far side, that's Kalupa. Kalupa off the board. To Augusta. Novi cutting for the net. A long shot on Fashaw. Picked up by Bobby Orr. Or off the boards, Leach, Leach rink wide. Barber didn't get that when the pass was behind him. Stasny dropping it back. Morzak coming out of his own end. Morzak pass Perot. Augusta couldn't get that pass. Or to Savard. Savard starting out of his own end. Right onto the stick of Kalupa. Over the 
line for Novi. Novi checked by Orr. Leach. LaFleur moves in after it. To Martin. Martin checked by McCutch. Gets it again. Tries to get it out over the line. He stopped. Novi has it. Novi against the board. Stastny moving after it. And Ferro gets it out to Orr. Orr spinning away from Novi. Good move. And here's Ferro getting a little speed at center ice. Ferro is checked. Martin gets it. Clears it behind the net. Ferro after it, but he couldn't control it. And McCutch. Or Czechoslovakia out to Novi at center ice. Novi to Augusta. Augusta working for the corner. LaPointe moving in on him. He made the check. And LaFleur for Savard. Savard starting out for Team Canada. Head for LaFleur. LaFleur at center ice. Hits the line. LaFleur trying to drop it back. And he couldn't execute the pass. And it's cleared back down into Team Canada territory. Icing will be the call. Well, the Czechoslovakian team came within an ace of drawing first blood in the hockey game. Bobby Orr trying to dump the puck into the Czechoslovakian zone. Martinets was very, made a very smart play, knocking the puck down, throwing it right ahead to Novak between the two defenders. He took his time, went to the side, actually drew Ro Rogi out of the net and hit the post. But a very close call for Team Canada. A very smart play by Martinets and Novak. Well, that's the one thing you have to worry about with these European teams. They love to hit man that puck open up the middle if they can, and that's what they were successful in doing in this game in that one instance. Now from the faceoff, here's Savard taking a shot that's right on. It's the middle side up, he gets the second shot away, and down goes Dula. And he hangs on, and we'll have another faceoff with 4.41 remaining in the second period. Well, Hudson's Bay rules here. The Czechoslovakian player has a definite hold of it. The shots. Here we have it right here. Here's Keichel, or far rather Bubla, holding right on to Esposito's stick, but he still manages to get it around and get the shot on Cirillo. But the fans here are very upset uh, on that call, feeling there should have been a holding penalty. On the faceoff, Hollick getting it. Puts it between his legs, back behind the net for Keichel. Keichel stopped by Hall. It's out in front. Good pass there by Dion, but there was nobody there to receive it. Linka. Clearing it rink wide, Bubla couldn't reach the pass. Hollick moves in after it. Here's Bobby Hall taking a shot that went off Hollick's back, and he picks it up and takes it behind his own net. There to Bubla. Bubla in the corner, sending it out to center ice for Alinka. Alinka along with Stasny, and they crossed offside. Stasny beating the play in. And another face off in the center ice area. This is one thing we don't see the Czechoslovakian team or many of the European uh, teams do very often. That's the second time tonight on a rather dangerous rush. They haven't been very patient and they, they forced an offside. Actually, they may have had a three on two situation at the blue line, but they weren't patient enough. They went over the line ahead of the puck and forced the offside. But they don't like to do that. The shots at goal totals are very interesting ones. Canada has had 18 shots at goal. Ten of them have been on. Czechoslovakia has had 15 at. Only six have been on target. Canada out shooting Czechoslovakia at this stage by a considerable margin. Stasny shooting it inside the blue line where Orr picks it up. Orr dropping it off for Esposito. Esposito at center ice. Crosses the line, trying to maintain possession of it, but he is ridden out of the play, and a good check there by Dvorak, and Orr has it in the center ice area, and he put it right on Stasny's stick. Stasny, his pass intercepted by Dion. Circles at his own blue line, starts out. Dion, ducking past Martinez. Over the line he comes, and he finally was checked by Stasny. He flips it back down into Team Canada territory. Robinson, ahead for Esposito. Esposito circling back as Martinets, number 10, four checks off the boards at center ice for Czechoslovakia. That's Kalupa. Kalupa shooting it in. Vachon leaving it for Orr. Bobby Orr drops it off for Hull. Hull back to Robinson on the far boards for Dion, and the pass turned him around a bit, and it ended up going off his stick to Augusta for Czechoslovakia. Back for Makac. Akac ahead for Augusta. Augusta's over the line. Augusta getting set, trying to pass it in front, and Novi breaking for the net just couldn't reach it. Now Robinson. Robinson putting it out to center ice and went by Bobby Hull. Here's Sittler coming over the line. Sittler to Hull. Hull getting set. Here's the shot. A rebound and panning on it was Dion. Dion with a great opportunity. It just hopped over his stick. Sosny's over the line. And breaking in offside on the right wing was Augusta. And another face-off. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Here we have a 
nice little pass from Daryl Siller to Bobby Hall. He lets go of the blazer. The rebound comes out. Marcel Dion just fails to tip it in. And I was really impressed with the way after that shot that Marcel Dion back checked. On the faceoff, back to live action as Daryl Sittler tried to move it up ice. Uh, rolled off his stick. Alinka comes back in. There's the long shot by Stasny, and a good one it was. Marianne Stasny and Rogi Vashaw making the save. You know, Czechoslovakia through the first period had no offsides. They've had four here in the second period with 228 remaining in the period. And that perhaps an indication that they're trying to open it up a little bit looking for that first goal they very nearly got it they got a goal post now the face off deep in team Canada territory 20 to 10 the shots on goal right now favor Canada there's a shot that went off Rogie Vashon's glove and went wide of the net against the boards Lanny McDonald out to center ice Keichel Keichel to Elinka back to Keichel he's checked by Sittler the point. The point shooting it in. Digging in after it is Bob Ganey. Ganey gives it to McDonald. McDonald gets the shot away, and that was wide of the net. Ganey in there for checking is turning now and starting out is Bubla. Bubla to center ice. And there it's knocked down by La Point to McDonald. McDonald shooting it in went off the linesman. Linka passing it to the far side. Out to center ice. Bubla to Keichel. Keichel got caught up in the skates of Hollick and Ended up rolling into Canada's territory. And here's Sittler breaking loose. Sittler over the line. Sittler trying to get set, and he's tied up from behind. The puck is loose. And then it's Ganey going in after it. Out in front. Nobody there who can reach that one from Team Canada's standpoint. And the puck comes out to center ice where it's taken by Bubla. Bubla to Stasny. Stasny shooting it in. It goes well wide of Team Canada's net. And it's Savard ducking by the check of Bubla. Savard. Passing rink wide, Martinez will go back into his own end as Team Canada changes on the fly. With 1.12 remaining in the second period, Novak, Novak inside the blue line, shooting it into the corner. Barber just rode Martinez out of the play, and the loose puck was picked up by Savard. To Clark, to Leach. Leach couldn't control it as he crossed the line. Less than a minute remaining now in the second period, still scoreless. As Bubla, deep in his own end, relays it along the boards. Clark picks it up, out to Potvan, and Potvan shot. Kind of chipped at it, and the Czechoslovakia takes over. There's a shot. It's uh, puck cleared in front of Bobby Orr, intercepted that one. Bubla turning with it, and the puck is cleared out in front once again. And Leach for Team Canada. Out to center ice for Barber. Barber to Leach. Turning is Novi. Novi trying to control it. Martinez gets it. He put it off the shoulder of Bobby Clark. And Clark shooting it back out to center ice. Bubla to Stasny. Stasny takes the hit from Potvan. The puck is loose. Barber throws a check. Augusta comes over the line along with Novi. Augusta getting set. Drops it back for Pospisil. Back to Augusta. His shot hit the side of the net. And we'll have a faceoff to the right of Team Canada's goal with 10 seconds remaining. Well, one of the things that's really been impressive, here we are. Team Canada has played five consecutive periods, except for the 10 seconds of this period. Five periods of scoreless hockey against two of the greatest hockey clubs in the world, in Sweden and Czechoslovakia. We thought that this was going to be a very offensive-minded club, but when you shut those clubs out for five periods, you're doing something defensively. Well, they're doing the job in this one. There's the save by Bashaw and uh, Novak. Apparently got hurt on this play. A stick, yes, he caught a high stick there, and he has been taken off and headed for the Forum Clinic. The base off will be to the right of the Team Canada goal. Peter Mahovlich is out there. So is Phil Esposito. We'll see who takes the draw. And Esposito is out there. We'll just see how they line up. Novi is also out there for Czechoslovakia. Ten seconds remaining in the second period. Now the Clark, well, Bobby Clark is coming out. And we have about two minutes remaining in the period at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Still no change in the score. It is 4-0, the Soviet Union leading the United States. I think the discussion here is uh, about where the face-off should be. I think that Bobby Clark feels it should be on the opposite side after the draw. Being a left shot, he would prefer it to be on that side to draw back into the corner. In any case, academic as Team Canada gains possession. Esposito shooting it out to center ice. Three seconds left. Pospisil back in his own end. Rink wide. Augusta picks it up as the siren goes. 
to end the second period of what is becoming a classic battle between Canada and Czechoslovakia. It has not been easy at all, Tom. No, it hasn't been easy, but uh, uh, I think more of the pressure is on the Czechoslovakian team. It's more important that they get a win rather than the tie tonight to put themselves in a good playoff position. Well, the shots on goal in the second period, 11-8, favor Canada. It is a scoreless tie. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Czechoslovakians control. Bobby Hull takes a whack at it. Esposito has it. Esposito circling to the far wing. Backhands it into Czechoslovakian territory. Hull going after it against the board. Drops it off for Esposito. Out in front and beyond. Just could not reach that pass. They throw it into the slot. Bobby Orr comes back out to center ice. Here's Alinka going over the line. And he takes the shot. Roby Vashaw easily handled. And the rebound went to Bobby Orr. To the far side for Dion. Dion for Hull. Hull trying to get by Borjak and just couldn't control it. He gets it again, cuts back inside his own blue line. Hull at center right. Bobby Hull hit by Aberman, gets the puck again, takes the long shot on Zarilla, leaves it for Bubla. Bubla off the boards at center ice and it went by Peter Stosny all the way down into Team Canada territory. Any pot van touching it there, it's called on the icing. And there's the Spectrum in Philadelphia live, and they have just started the third period of that game with the Soviet Union leading by a score of four to nothing. The second period was the first period involving Team Canada in which no penalties were called. It's been a very quiet game. The referee letting the players have their way. A total of four penalties called, two to each team. Play is deep inside Czechoslovakian territory. Esposito in there. Also Dion. Dion pokes it out, but Stasny comes up with it for Czechoslovakia. A rink wide pass out to center ice for Pozar. Pozar's over the line. His slap shot is wide of the net. Hull going after it against the board. Stasny moves in, and Esposito comes up with a loose puck. Esposito at center ice. His long shot. Well wide of the net. Dion goes against the boards, but could not reach the puck, and Stasny has it. Stasny. Double control it, gets it again. Marianne Stasny as Orr gets his stick in front of that shot. Stasny loses his stick. Potvin comes up with a puck, gives to Orr. Orr ahead for Hull. Hull at center ice for Dion. Dion is ridden out of the play, but Esposito covering up, and Hull's all alone in front of that net. And he just could not get the pass. It went off a stick behind him. Peter Stasny. Stasny's over the line. Stasny ducking by the check of uh, Lafleur. Stasny gets it again, but his pass was intercepted by Bobby Orr. Or out to center ice intended for Hull and hit the linesman. Turning with it is Stasny. Peter Stasny shooting it in. And Bashaw leaving for Savard. Number 18 for Team Canada. Serge Savard out over his own line. The rink wide pass intended for Lafleur. It hit that broken stick deep inside the Czechoslovakian end. Perot comes up with it. That would have been icing had it gone across the line. Now it's out to the blue line. Here's Savard. His shot knocked down in front of the net there by Makats. And it's cleared down the ice right on Rogi Bashaw. And he shovels it off to the far boards for Lafleur. Lafleur ahead for Perot. Perot's over the line. And Makats got back to make the play on him. Huck is back at center ice. Lapointe. Lapointe loses the puck. Martinez is over the line. His shot. And it just went wide as it was stopped by Bashaw. And now it's Lapointe coming out of his own end. Lapointe at center right, over the line. Lapointe trying to split the defense. Here's Martin getting set, and uh, Polk check there saved any play. Now it's Lapointe getting set, his shot, and Foster still got a stick in front of that one. What a hockey game, what a hockey game. They're going end to end here. Actually, Rogi Vashon was a little fortunate there as Martin Nets broke in, but then right coming, coming back to the far end, Team Canada again with a very good opportunity on Zarella. Here we have the replay, misplaying the puck at the point was the point. The puck actually got by Rogi, but went behind, loses track of it, then Team Canada moving back to the attack, headman, and had another good opportunity at the opposite end of the rink. So they're going end to end, and the fans here really enjoying every minute of it. On the face off, there's a shot, and Zarilla makes a fine save on a blistering drive from L Lanny McDonald from the top of the face-off circle. Again, we see the importance of the face-offs here. Team Canada taking over a little bit here, controlling the face-offs. Daryl Sittler got it right into the spot to McDonald, who shot all in one motion. Very good stop by Zarilla. That's where McDonald is now on the face-off. They'll do that all over again. In a perfect position to get the shot away. And he was at th exactly that same spot when he let it go on Zarilla. And Zarilla has been certainly a star for... Czechoslovakians tonight. 
the face off back out to McDonald again and again he got the shot away Keichel getting it on the rebound he relays it along the boards and Ganey makes the check on Abermont and it's Bubla behind his own net Bubla being checked there by Sittler in comes McDonald trying to poke it free Czechoslovakia controlling it Hollick at center ice Hollick is over the line Hollick now goes around the defense Hollick flipping it out in front in deep on that play was Abermont but he just couldn't get the pass and it's cleared back down into the Czechoslovak zone. Ganey going after it in the corner. Team Czechoslovakia, Linka. Linka cutting in front of his own net. Now moving it up ice is Hollick. Hollick over to the far side for Alinka. Alinka being checked by Orr. And it comes off Orr's skate. And he's skating it there is Robinson. And it's cleared in front of the net dangerously by Bobla. That's at center ice. McDonald, McDonald's pass. Linka intercepted that one. Ganey covers up. Over to the far side for Sittler. Back to Ganey. Back to the far side. Intended for McDonald. That was intercepted. Now it's come back out to center ice. Off the stick of Ganey. And Team Canada will change on the fly. We played just over five minutes here in the third period. It is still a scoreless hockey game. Or coming out of his own end. He's checked by Stasny. Robinson moves in on him. Throws a good body check. Orr moves in now on Pozar, and he's unable to get the puck out in front of the net. Barber over to the far side. Leach having trouble getting loose. Now turning with it for Czechoslovakia. Stasny, he put it right on Orr's stick. Bobby Orr circling back behind his own net. Pozar was in for checking. Now moving in is Stasny. Orr starts out as he slows play up a bit. Orr to Robinson. Robinson at center ice. Passing rink wide. It went right by Pozar. Icing will be the call, and the face-off will be back down in Team Canada territory. This is the Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Face-off to Rogie Vachon's right. The Here we have the tremendous hit. check by Robinson. He just leveled Stashny on, on that play. We have 351 remaining in the first half of the third period. On the face-off, here's McCutch, and that's on. Good save by Vachon, a hard shot from the blue line by Ulrich Nakat. Well, Bobby Clark was upset with himself losing that faceoff, but here it is, it's lost clean, over to the side, back to the point. Good stop by Rogi Vachon, but that's one of the few faceoffs the Czechoslovakian team has won. On the faceoff, LaPointe behind his own net, clearing it along the boards, past Martinets, out to the point. Makach keeps it in. Now behind the net, that's Novi, and he... Put it right through the slot and out into the center ice area. Pospisil to Makach. Makach feeding it up ice right onto Savard. Stick at the Team Canada blue line to LaPointe. To Leach. Leach in the center ice area. Trying to get it to Barber. That failed to work. Over the line comes Novi. He went in ahead of the uh, pass. Actually, that was Augusta. There's Bobby Orr playing, I think, his best game of the series so far. And it would be expected, I think, that Bobby Orr would improve with every outing as... He had portions of his training camp taken away from him because of the knee operation. He got a lot of ice time in the game against Sweden the other night, and he's played a lot in this game. From the faceoff, now there's the shot, the rebound. Martinet shot it wide, goes into the corner. The point going after it, Clark as well, and it comes out to center ice past Leach and Novi. Novi passing for Augusta. Augusta over the line. He's tied up completely by Leach. And it's cleared back to the blue line of the Czechoslovakians. Makac over to Pospisil. Novi relayed it into Team Canada territory. Vashon steps out of his net for Leach. Leach clears it to the blue line. Pospisil right in front and it bounced wide as it came off the stick of Novi. Martinets goes down. Huck is still loose and now here comes Leach at center right. Leach along with Barber. Leach over the line, digging after it. And he is ridden out of the play by Makac. Now Barber throws a check in there. Team Canada changing on the fly. As Novi drops it back for Makach. Makach to Pospisil. Pospisil circling at center ice to Abermann. Abermann's checked and Esposito to Dion. Dion over the line. Esposito and he relayed it into the corner. Keiko. Keiko moving it up the boards. Abermann couldn't control it. Hull is in there. Now Potvan. Potvan putting it through the legs of Abermann. But Holick has it for Czechoslovakia. Around the boards to the far side. Halinka. 2.05 left in the first half of the third period. This is a scoreless tie between Canada and Czechoslovakia. Potvan picks it up at his own blue line. Potvan to Hull. Hull right through the defense. Hull goes to the corner. Trying to clear it in front off Keichel's leg. Keichel turning, number 17 for Czechoslovakia, and he'll go for the whistle at this stage. 
and the faceoff will be deep in Czechoslovakian territory. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. All right, here's Reggie Leach. Crossing the line, and watch this body check there. Actually, that might have been called interference because the puck was through. The Czechoslovakian defenseman made no attempt to play the puck. It went off uh, Reggie Leach's uh, stick, but that could have been a, an interference call. We will mention again that referee Gord Lee has really left this game up to the players. There hasn't been too much chippiness in the game. Bobby Hull along the boards. Is Dion behind the net. Dion being pinned against the boards by Keichel. It's flipped back into the corner on this side. Bubla. Bubla shooting it out to center ice right past Bobby Orr. No icing. Orr will go back behind his own net as it's left for him by Vashon. Orr leaves it for Esposito. Drop back to Orr. Orr starting out. At leisurely way, he'll make sure of this now as he drops it over to the far side. Hot Van. Hot Van straight up ice for Esposito. Esposito controlling it out there. Now he'll shoot it in. Back to get it is Bubla along with Dion. Dion beats him to the puck, but he's ridden out of the play. Hollick picking up a loose puck. Less than a minute remaining in the first half of the third period as Hollick beating it ahead. Over the line comes Aberman offside. Two line pass on that one. And with 53 seconds remaining, in the third period, first half, it remains Canada nothing, Czechoslovakia nothing. Ron Andrews, who is on top of such things, says there was not a nothing-nothing tie in NHL hockey all of last season. The last one was at Pittsburgh on November 23rd, 1974. L.A. nothing, Pittsburgh nothing. And if you're saying to yourself, if you've just joined us, well, Canada can't be playing very well if they haven't got a goal yet, may we say that Canada has played very well, and may we pay tribute to the fine effort by Czechoslovakia so far. The puck is deep in Czechoslovakian territory. They battle for it. Sittler in there. The puck pops loose. And it comes to center ice. Stasny getting it out to Pozar, number 23, dropping it back. Morzak shot, and down on his knees is Vashon to make the save. But Genie tries to control it. It rolled off his stick. Here's Pozar. Ozar out to the point on this side. Kalupa shot just deflected off the skate wide. Ganey. Ganey put it right into the padding of Augusta. Now it's Ganey getting the puck back again as Kalupa loses his stick. Sittler's over the line. Sittler taking a shot. The rebound as Ganey skates into the corner. Behind the net for Sittler. Kalupa with no stick pins it against the board. Finally it's poked free. And the siren goes to end the first half of the third period, Canada nothing, Czechoslovakia nothing. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Here we have Daryl Sittler moving across, gets a fine shot on Cirilli, closes his pads, tries to cover up the rebound. It did come out again, the puck did squirt loose, but we had a very good opportunity from Daryl Sittler, a three on two break. All right, play is underway, the final 10 minutes of a tough hockey game between Canada and Czechoslovakia. Still scoreless. As we've said, will a mistake decide this one? Or a break? We'll see. Novi is over the line along with Martinez to Augusta, and he was not in deep enough to get the pass. They clear it to the side of the net, and it hops over the top of the crossbar and behind. Mahovlich clearing it out. Robinson couldn't reach it. Novi circling back into his own end. Rink wide, Pospisil. Pospisil slowing things up, then leads it ahead intended for Novi. Point gives it to Robinson. Robinson to Lafleur to Mahovlich. There's the shot, and it's wide. They've got Robinson playing on the left wing. It's clear right in front of the net. Robinson couldn't reach it, and down on his knees to hold it is Zarilla. Well, Scotty Bowman here coming up with a new combination. Peter Mahovlich at center with Robinson and Lafleur, just giving the regular forward troops a little bit of an extra breather going in here to the last bit of the hockey game. And Big Peter gets a very good opportunity on net. Cirilla had to make a fine stop before deflecting the puck to the corner, but he just put them out there to stir things up a little, give his regular troops a blow to come back for the last nine minutes of the hockey game. Shots on goal right now, 24-17, favor Canada. But Czechoslovakia in that first half of the third period had the edge on Canada. As from the faceoff now, Aberman coming to center ice. Back is Potvan. Aberman beats Potvan. Here's the shot. The rebound is loose. And Clark is in there to scoop it up and take it behind the net. Clark at the blue line to center ice. Clark trying to feed Barber, who was breaking in on the left side. And it went off a stick into the crowd. And we'll have another faceoff. Well, Aberman broke in there and made a very, very good play. He beat two uh, Team Canada defenders quite cleanly. Faked the shot. 
Here we have him moving across. Got the shot on Rogi Vashaw, hit him high up on the shoulder, but he had beaten two defenders before getting that shot away, and that could have been a, the first goal of the hockey game, but Aberman made a very good move. Face off in the center ice area. Alinka facing off against Clark. Clark gains the draw. Back to Orr. Orr over to the far side. Buckman feeding it in off Hollick's leg. Gorilla steps out of his net. Out to the blue line. Alinka out to center ice. Right past Aberman. He's rushing in. Potbad coming back. Aberman gets dead. Rogi Vashaw got a stick on it. And there's going to be a penalty. Rogi Vashaw just got his stick on that one. They're calling Denny Potvan, I think, for slashing. Here we have it, right across the shoulders. Uh, and Denny Potvan did deserve to, to pick up the penalty. And this will be very interesting at this point of the hockey game Potvin being scoreless. And Team Canada uh, playing a man short for the next two minutes. But well, there's no question about it. He laid a two-hander across his shoulder. And perhaps one of those penalties that uh, we're going to get a chance to see this one again. There's no doubt of the penalty. There it is, right across the shoulder and the side of the neck. And then the Czechoslovakian player went high up over top of Rogi Vashai into the corner. I will tell you one thing. Uh, you take a two-hander like that, it tends to take your mind off the play somewhat. And I think that was what Denny Potvin had in mind when he did it. In any case, Rogi Vashai had to be alert himself. So now with Czechoslovakia, a man advantage from the faceoff or golfing it around to the far side. It's relayed to center race by Barber. And back is Makac to Pospisil. Team Canada's penalty killers, Barber and Clark. Or also Lapointe. Czechoslovakia on the power play as Augusta gets the pass on the left side. He's over the line, chased by Orr, still has it, feeds it into the corner. Novi get it caught up in his skates. Now Augusta, Augusta trying to clear it in front and is knocked away by Lapointe. Novi in the corner again. Novi out to Pospisil at the point. Number seven. Over to the far side. That's Makach. His shot is right on and kicked into the corner by Vashon. Makach again. Here's the screenshot. It's loose in front. Rogi Vashon goes down and he hangs on. Well, Phil Barber was a little upset with himself. He didn't shoot the puck quite hard enough by the Czechoslovakian point man, Makach. He got the good shot away and the deflection on Rogi uh, Vashon's doorstep almost went by him. But Phil Barber was a little upset with himself not being able to get that puck down the ice and take a little pressure off Team Canada. Well, there'll be changes now. Aberman comes out along with Pollock. Obla, Keichel will be the defensive pair. Halinka will center the line. And for Team Canada, Sittler, Savard, Orr, and Lapointe. Face off to the left of Rogi Vashaw. 1.15 remaining in the penalty as the puck is cleared to center right. A key point in this hockey game with it still scoreless. 7.44 remaining. Halinka behind his own net starting out. In for checking is Sittler. Alinka to center ice. He passes off to Aberman who gives it back to Alinka. It's over the line. Hollick gets the pass on this side to Keichel. Keichel to Hollick. Hollick working to the corner. Into the corner now. Back to Hollick. Hollick as they try to penetrate the box. Hollick to Keichel at the point. Back to Hollick. It went right by him. Alinka in the corner. Over to the far side. Aberman couldn't knock it down. And Daryl Sittler golfs it down the ice. Gorilla will hold it behind his own net for Keichel. Keichel, number 17, beating it off. Bubla, number 19 for Czechoslovakia on his way out to center ice. 23 seconds left in the penalty. Bubla hits the line, trying to get set to Holick. Back out to the blue line. Here's Keichel's shot, and Rogi Vashon got his stick on it. Bubla on the far boards. Into the corner for Lapointe. Lapointe trying to work it up the boards. And Savard completes the check and shoots it down the ice with seven seconds left in the penalty. 6.41 left in the hockey game. Hollick behind his own net. And they kill the penalty off as Potvin is back on the ice. Malinka has the puck for Czechoslovakia. At center ice, working to the line. He backhands it into Team Canada territory. Lapointe being checked by Pozar. Around to the far side. Potvin just clears it down the ice. Icing will be the call here. And it'll come back for a face-off in the Team Canada end. Uh, here we have the shot from the point. Rogi Vashon getting a stick on it, just deflecting it wide. But sometimes your team, uh, having to think so defensively when you're shorthanded, takes a little away from your offense. And we'll see what happens here. They may get a lift from killing that penalty successfully, or maybe they'll be a little more defensive-minded, having to kill that penalty for two minutes. Shots on goal in this third period. Czechoslovakia out shooting Team Canada, 10-4. And there's some action in Philadelphia. And Tretiak 
in goal for the Soviet Union and he is tested and that is probably the best test he has seen I'm told in that hockey game so far as we're back to live action here in Montreal Dion over to Hull all over the line Esposito and he's offside and it'll come back out into the center ice area for another face off four to nothing the score in the spectrum Team USA Alexandrov with two goals plus Shlukdov and Vikulov for the Soviet Union all of their goals coming in the first period as Team USA again guilty of getting off to a slow start and then tightening up. They've done that a couple of times in this series. Kalupa deep in his own end, clearing it to the blue line, but not out. Robinson right on as it was screened partially by Zion. And Zarillo, who's certainly been one of the outstanding players in this game for Czechoslovakia. Stasny's over the line. Stasny along with Pozar, and he's ridden out of the play against the boards by Potvin. Hull deep in his own end. Hull being checked by Stasny. Hull still with the puck. Circling deep in his own end. He'll start out now. No, he drops it off. Potvan. Potvan. Drops it back for Esposito. He didn't see that pass. Now clears it off the boards to center ice. And Pozar has it. 5.30 left in the hockey game. Still scoreless. Marian Stasny dropping it back into his own end for Kalupa. Now comes out to center ice. Intercepted by Robinson. Robinson to Zion. And it bounced into his skates and he couldn't control. Peter Stasny to Marian Stasny. He ducked by the check of Robinson. And finally, Potvan off the boards to center ice. Dion has it to Hull. Hull along with Dion. Dion is over the line. Drops it for Robinson with skating room. Here's the shot. And it was a weak shot that missed the net. Stasny out to center ice. Knocked down by Potvan. Potvan crosses the line. Takes the shot. Right on. Zorillo's down and hangs on. 4.57 left. Still scoreless. Well, Team Canada is moving to the attack. There's no overtime in uh, before the playoffs here and but here we have Denny Potman moving quickly across the blue line actually Team Canada had to get out of there so that they weren't offside the very strong shot on Zarilla but there's no overtime before the playoffs in uh, in this tournament and Team Canada is pulling out all stops here trying to get the win they've gone to the attack Team Canada with a win would clinch a playoff spot let Ron Andrews calculate exactly what happens if they don't win this game, but it certainly throws everything wide open for Saturday. And the games that will be seen on CTV starting at 5 o'clock. Czechoslovakia against Sweden. The puck is out at center ice. Augusta being checked by Lapointe. Augusta gets it in the center ice area. He's checked by McDonald, and finally they hold it up. Face-off will be in the center ice area. A great sports day on CTV on Saturday, starting with the Montreal Alouettes at Ottawa to meet the Rough Riders. CFL football followed immediately by Sweden versus Czechoslovakia. And at 8 o'clock Eastern time, Canada versus the Soviet Union. Offside again, face off at center ice. Well, Tom, it comes to that point, and I'm sure people are sitting at home wondering just who the most valuable players, the winners of the Carling O'Keefe Awards will be, the Eskimo Carvings. It's going to be a tough selection in this one. Perhaps not so much for Czechoslovakia, but Team Canada has had a general all-around excellent effort. Martin Nets is over the line. Augusta working for the net. Out in front, here's Novi, scores! Milan Novi! And the Czechoslovakian bench clears. Czechoslovakia has taken a one nothing lead. Well, Augusta made a very, very good play there. He broke around the defense, moved into the corner, slipped the puck out into the slot, and the quick shot. Here we have the puck over the Team Canada blue line, but watch Augusta. Moves in, into Novi. Novi makes no mistakes, shoots quickly. But a very good play by Augusta, taking that extra little look before he threw it to Novi in the slot. Here we see it again, moving over the Team Canada blue line. Augusta carries on. Doesn't throw it away, doesn't take the bad angle shot, drops it in the slot, Novi wastes no time in putting the puck underneath Rogi Vashon. There's the score. Czechoslovakia leading Team Canada by a score of one to nothing. And if Czechoslovakia, with four minutes and 15 seconds remaining, can hang on, what a tremendous victory it will be for them. Now Team Canada must go pull out all stops. Cleared in front, Carroll took a swipe at it and it popped over his stick. Now Alinka out to center ice, Aberman. Aberman's over the line along with Alinka. Clears it to Alinka. He tried to get it out. Out at center ice, the pass from Perrault intended for Mahovlich failed to work. Potvan circles back into his own end. Orr. 
or turning with it with 3.45 left in the game. Czechoslovakia now leading one to nothing. Or dropping it off for Potvan. Over to Orr. Or working to the line for Lafleur. Lafleur shooting it right in. Zarilla will hang on. And we'll have another face-off. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. The official scoring on that goal, Novi from Augusta and Martinets at 15:41, the only goal of the game. It is 1-0 Czechoslovakia with 3:33 remaining from the faceoff. A shot that's wide of the net by Lafleur. Perro goes in deep. Pozar clearing it to the blue line, but not out. Here's Orr with a shot, and that went off a leg. Dvorak getting in front of it. Mahovlich against the boards along with Pozar. Lafleur moving in. He's checked, and here comes Stasny. Out to center ice to Marion Stasny down the right wing and he is ridden out of the play by Potvan. Puck goes loose into the corner. I think it's under Potvan or Stasny. It's held for a face off deep in Team Canada territory. Czechoslovakian player there claiming that uh, Denny Potvan deliberately put his hand on it and drew it underneath him. But I'm sure he was pulling it certainly. But he wanted to draw in, the, in his own zone here. Try and get the change of players. Fresh troops out there going into this last three minutes of the hockey game. And I think it'll be a lot more than that that will cause a penalty at this stage. As we mentioned, uh, a game in which the officials have let the players play. And, uh, well, it should be. It's been that kind of a hockey game. They're all out of his net as uh, Leach and Clark got in on him. He just covered it up. Vladimir Zarilla is the oldest member of Team Czechoslovakia. He's been to nine world championships since 1960. An all-star in the 1969 tournament in Czechoslovakia. He plays with Brno. He has been sort of in a clips overshadowed by Yuri Holacek. But he has performed very admirably in this hockey game. And a bit of a surprise that they put him in, although he had some problems. Here's a shot from the point. Clark trying to shovel it off against the boards. LaPointe clears it back to the point, but there's nobody there, and it ends up back in the Team Canada zone. 2.45 left in this hockey game. Barber controlling it at center ice. Crosses the red center line ahead for Clark. Clark for Leach, and Leach just could not reach that one. Pollock behind his own net. Pollock to LaPointe. LaPointe out in front, trying to get set as Barber. Here's the shot. It's high in the air and is knocked down by Poshkrasil. And it's cleared out to the blue line past Bobby Clark. Novi and Clark racing after it. Rogi Vashon steps out of his net, clears it out to center right for LaPointe. LaPointe to Barber. Barber is over the line along with Leach. Against the boards. LaPointe shooting it into the corner. Leach fans on it. And it's backhanded down the ice. 2.05 remaining in the hockey game. Czechoslovakia leading 1 0. Savard turning and coming out of his own end. Two Hull. Hull shooting it around the boards. Going after it on the boards on this side now is Zion behind the net. It's Makac trying to get it out. Linka out to center ice for Abermann. Abermann's over the line and he passed it back. Pollock, number 20 for Czechoslovakia, checked by Phil Esposito. Orr takes a hit, managed to get a pass away as Esposito brings it out of his own end. Zion at center ice. He's checked by Bubla. Czechoslovakia now covering their men very well. Here's the shot on Vashon. He makes the save and leaves it for Orr. Diff to Hull. Hull at center ice. 120 remaining. Hull's long shot deflected into the corner by Zarilla. And then the shot is loose in front of the net. Orr moves in. Here's his shot and it's just wide. Dion against the board looking for a man in front. And he got a shot away on the short side covered easily by Zarilla. Now Alinka coming out of his end. Alinka for Czechoslovakia. Or Hollick. Hollick's shot is wide. Hull trying to chase it down on the far side. We have less than a minute remaining. And it's cleared back into Team Canada territory offside. And now it'll be a coaching decision. When can you get Rogi Vachon out of there? Well, uh, the uh, Team Canada players are complaining bitterly here, and rightly so, because it looked like a deliberate offside. Uh, here, here we have the shot. And Zarillo uh, deflecting it just into the corner. But Team Canada complaining here that that was the deliberate offside uh, on the part of the Czechoslovakian team. And they wanted the face off to go all the way down into the Czechoslovakian end so they could get their goaltender out. And it looked that way from up here that they deliberately tried to get the, the offside and the change of fresh troops. Face off outside Team Canada's line. It's Esposito, Lafleur, Hull, Potvan, Orr. 
They've got the power out there, but Czechoslovakia has possession of the puck at the moment and has cleared into Team Canada territory. Potvan taking it behind his own net. Stasny covering up. It hopped over Bobby Hull's stick in the corner. Still loose in there. It's cleared across the slot, and Orr has it. With 34 seconds left, Orr starting out. Orr to the blue line to center ice. Orr having trouble controlling it. Gets it again against the boards and backhands it in. 25 seconds left as Kalupa comes up. Bashaw is out of the net. Here's Orr winding up. His shot is wide. Now Lafleur as it's cleared down the ice with 17 seconds left. Orr cutting in front of his own net to center ice for Lafleur. Lafleur shooting it in. We have eight seconds left as Esposito goes after it. Now Lafleur out to the point. Putfan shooting and he sort of fanned on that. Now a shot is off the leg. And the game is over. Czechoslovakia has defeated Team Canada one to nothing in a classic hockey game here at the Montreal Forum. Well, just a great hockey game uh, all the way. It's unfortunate for Team Canada who have played so well defensively. They give up one goal in the last seven periods and a little more of hockey, and here they are fighting for their lives. They have to win against the Soviet Union Saturday night. Well, we'll hear the national anthem of the winning team, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia, who only two nights ago played to a 4-4 tie against the United States, come back brilliantly to defeat Team Canada 1-0 on a goal scored late in the third period. Milan Nobe with his fourth goal of the tournament from Augusta and Martinets. It came at 15-41 of the third period. And the final score, 1-0. The anthem of the winning team, Czechoslovakia. see the disappointment on the Team Canada faces, but the crowd appreciating the performance of Czechoslovakia here in this game at the Montreal Forum. And now the presentation of the Eskimo carvings to the most valuable player for Canada and Czechoslovakia. And who will be the presenters tonight? Player of the Game Awards. Les joueurs recevront une magnifique sculpture créée par les Esquimaux de la Terre de Baffin dans l'Arctique canadien. The awards are handcrafted stone carvings created by the Eskimos of Baffin Island in the Canadian Arctic. Pour présenter ces trophées ce soir, nous invitons, presenting the awards tonight, deux grands anciennes étoiles du club de hockey canadien, two former hockey greats with les Canadiens, Jean Bidiveau et Dicky Moore. All right, there are a couple of superstars. Dickie Moore, who held the scoring record in the NHL for so long at 96 points. John Beliveau, who through the same era, helped the Montreal Canadiens to all of those Stanley Cups in the 1950s and early 60s. Very appreciative audience here because these two players gave uh, the fans in this building a lot of thrills for a great many years. faire la présentation aux joueurs par excellence de l'équipe tchèque. I would like to ask Dickie Moore to present the player of the game award to the Czech team. Vladimir Zurilla. Vladimir Zurilla. The veteran is hard to say a bit of a surprise except 
that Holacek had had so much trouble against Team Canada in the exhibition game. And he said Holacek was the best European goaltender, including Vladimir Trechak, or Vladislav Trechak. Zerilla steps in, shuts out Team Canada in a brilliant game, and is Carling O'Keefe winner as the outstanding player. Actually, he hasn't been scored against in the series because he played the last period against Team USA the other night, and they weren't able to score on him, so you can't do much better than that. Now for Team Canada. Jean Vidigal to make the presentation to the star of the game for Team Canada, Rogatien Vachon. Well, the appreciation for Rogi Vachon. Bellavo making the presentation as Rogie Vachon picks up a standing ovation from the crowd. The handshake between these two fine goaltenders and the handshakes at center ice. Of course, part of this will be tallied up at the end of the series. The most valuable player for the whole series for each team will be receiving a Toyota Celica GT. And here's the Traditional handshakes at center ice. I don't think either team can say that they did not play well in this game. Team Canada, victim of what uh, really was one goal, one mistake in a game in which both teams played excellent hockey. Well, it's very tough on Team Canada. It's one of the things that uh, Coach Scotty Bowen was afraid of. He wanted to go back into Toronto with, with the last game uh, against the Soviet Union knowing that he was going to stay for the playoffs. But now they've got to go back for a sudden death game in Toronto against the Soviet Union on Saturday. There are a couple of pretty good goaltenders at center ice. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Center ice to Perot.